What's going on, everybody? My name is Alex, and in today's video, we are talking about the Outbreak Easter Egg. It has just been confirmed by Treyarch that the Easter Egg is happening. Uh, well, my watch doesn't have a calendar on it, but let's take a look. Next Thursday, that's what I thought. So next Thursday is May 20th. It says the Easter egg hunt begins. We can see this happening on Twitter. We have this image right here. And uh, don't worry, I'll post it like as a real image on and off through the screen as I have gameplay kind of supplementing this. But that's good news. I thought this was going to happen. Well, I guess at season three reloaded, but maybe that's when they're going to do reloaded as well. We have this really interesting image. It says the beacon communications receiver. Uh, Psychotronics Omega. It looks like it was approved by uh, Dr. Valentina. I'm a little confused by that. I could have sworn that Valentina was that chick from the end of the Firebase Z. Is she a doctor? I didn't think she was. I thought she was just like a army general person. Doesn't really matter. On this schematic, we can see that there is a side view, a front view, and a back view of this Beacon communications receiver. We have our first sticky note that says, M, I have come into possession of this of this device. I think it will be useful for what lies ahead. This is obviously directed at Samantha Maxis. I know what Omega is planning. We must stop it before it's too late. And this is probably from uh, Ravanov, the dude from the Firebase Z cutscene who had his arm in the sling. Obviously, we can't prove it. It could be Richthofen. I don't think it is. Maybe they're trying to like trick us again and they had R before and it was Ravenoff and they they want us to allude to it being ricked off in this time because it, why would they use the same code name for a, a name we already know? But where that plan falls apart is they keeps using M, which is obviously Maxis. So I still think that this is Ravenov and Maxis and Richtofen probably won't come until the end of the season when things are wrapping up, maybe leading us into a second year of zombies content where they're going to try to lead us in where, hey, you guys, we're at, we have a whole new year of zombies content. So Richtofen is here. I think that's kind of what their plan will be. And he will come at the end of a traditional round based map. Can't prove that. It's just my theory. So at the bottom of this schematic it also says the beacon communications receiver is designed for use with the dark ether beacon mechanism once the connection is established the receiver enables communication through otherwise inaccessible broadcast frequencies perfect for emergency field use as the channel cannot be intercepted or decrypted through traditional methods so if you don't speak japanese basically what this is saying is this communications receiver can actually track the frequencies in the dark ether. So it can actually track frequencies of another dimension, which is actually kind of a cool, you know, sci-fi concept. I, I don't really hate that. Uh, we can really expect this Easter egg, I would assume, to be surrounded around completing those challenges. We have been so used to basically putting these challenges together through Treyarch and Outbreak, and I bet you we're going to have to complete a couple in order to maybe relieve some of these parts in order to build it up. Or perhaps it's round base where we have to get to round 5, 10, and we can actually skip rounds by hitting our travel beacon. Things like that. I think it actually has a lot of potential to be a cool Easter egg, but this is just the beginning. I guarantee you Treyarch is going to continually tease little schematics like this pieces of information trying to get us hyped for what's to come there's not really much else to talk about in this video um, i'm gonna have another video coming out either later today probably tomorrow discussing the potential for the zombie season and what we can expect to see will there be a second season of content will there be a brand new traditional map at the end of season six that we're likely to expect or are we just gonna have are three round based zombies and then outbreak added into forever. And here's another question I would like to pose you with. Are we going to be seeing a new zombies map for outbreak with this Easter egg? I would like to, and this could go hand in hand with what Codename Pizza said when he interviewed Treyarch at the beginning of outbreaks release saying that they're going to release maps that are standalone that have nothing to do with multiplayer. So this could actually be a pretty big day for zombies. I don't think that we should get too excited. Let's manage our expectations. Keep things on the down low because when we raise our expectations, the community just gets disappointed and takes it out on Treyarch and it's perfectly fine to be frustrated and blow off some steam. I do that all the time, but we have to manage our expectations. We cannot look at things 
in such a way, in such a light that are going to increase uh, the longevity of content that, well, may not come to fruition. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.